Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to edit the data that we have fetched in the previous video. Here, we have fetched the data, we have looped it, and we got this output. So, before working with edit, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe. Hit on the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. Here you can see these datas were fetched here. Now let's work on the edit part. So here you can see this is a table header. Let's keep one table header as edit. Copy paste edit. And here inside table data, give a TD and give an anchor tag. So inside anchor tag, this will be a edit button. Let's give a class and make this as a button. BTN, BTN primary or else we'll give success. Let's go reload and check. So now you can see here, you have uh, edit. So when you click on this, this has to go to another page. So let's go and give. Let's create a page that is edit.php. And within edit.php, it has to take ID. We'll concatenate the ID here. Copy this and paste it here. Let's go and reload and check. Now, when you click on this first button, it is taking with an ID. You can see edit ID is one, user ID is one. Let's take anu, user ID is two. So, this is how. So, we need to create a edit.php page now. Let's copy that and go back to your project create an edit.php file let's include all the header footer let's go to insert.php in edit also we are going to use the same form let's copy the entire thing from insert.php control a control c and paste it here we have copy pasted let's go check what is happening there now when you reload and click on edit you can see insert data and you are getting every field i mean the form and you have insert data. Let's go change all this and make it as edit and update. Give your as edit data. Update button. Update data. And make this as button info. Reload. You can see edit data and update data. Now, when we click on this edit button, this particular user's name, email and phone number has to be displayed. Because it is taking the ID one. But then the value is not displayed. Let's see how to get that value. Inside card body, open close PHP. And here you can see that we have taken the ID. So let's get this ID. So we'll use if is set of dollar get of ID. If that ID is present, then We'll start fetching dollar connection. We'll connect our database. Instead of typing again and again, we'll go copy this from here. You have it in your index page as well as code.php. Copy, paste it. We are going to fetch the so right give fetch data. Fetch data is equal to we have to write the select query so select star from users table where id is equal to dollar id now we are selecting data from the users table where id is the particular id that we are clicking on so from where this id is coming so we have to give that here so dollar id is equal to dollar get of id this particular get id is coming from your url so let's give a semicolon there let's write another fetch data run is equal to using mysqli query connect your database with this fetch data copy and paste it a semicolon and then here we are going to check if that data is fetched i mean if there is data present first so if using mysqli num rows 
of this variable copy paste it if this is greater than 0 then we are going to fetch else no record found echo no record found give a semicolon and then for this we didn't write else part let's write that else give echo something went wrong now if the data is there let's use a for each loop for each dollar fetch query run as dollar row so here we are going to echo so let's first echo and check echo dollar row of name we are echoing only one thing let's see if we are getting this output okay and then later on we'll fetch into the form let's go and reload so you can see first id id number one you're getting the name here but we want the name inside this input form we have to cut this form and paste it here so let's close and divide the php here and here cut this form paste it here align and remove this echo so now we have to echo inside this input tag so let's give value is equal to then double quotes open close php and tell echo dollar row of name semicolon let's go and reload now we have got let's go do the same thing for email and phone number as well copy this value paste it here and paste it here change the name to email here as phone let's go reload now you have got the data so when you click on anu you will get the data of anu we finished fetching the data for a particular user now when this update button is clicked it, uh, it is going to code.php but this is not getting updated make sure you change the name here to update button and change the text as well when the user click on this update button it is going to code.php with the post method so let's copy this update button and go to code.php code.php here we will give a comment line here insert code and here update code okay. so here again no need to write the connection because it is already written we are inside the same php itself if is set of dollar post of that button name when that button is clicked what has to happen it has to take the name so name is equal to dollar post of name this will be the same which is there in insert we have the email and phone let's copy this from here itself and paste it here now we have to write the update query so let's see how to write it create a variable as update query is equal to date user stable set name is equal to dollar name give a comma email is equal to dollar email comma and we have phone right so phone is equal to dollar phone here also we have to give the where condition where id is equal to dollar 
user id so this user id there is no variable here it will throw an error so what we will do is we will create a variable user id is equal to dollar post 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 of id so i will tell you from where this id is coming now go to your edit.php page you don't have id here you only have the name right we have to create an input tag here so input class is equal to form control name id so this id only we are using it here then give the value as well so value copy paste give this is id so when you go reload here you will get an id as well but we have to make this id hidden it should not be shown okay let's keep the type to hidden now when you go and reload you can see that id gets hidden but you can use internally that is the id which i have fetched here and given inside this user id variable i have just given that value and i am using this user id variable here let's type the run query so update query run is equal to using mysqli query function connect your database as well as this update query copy paste and here we are going to check if this is running fine i mean if this query is working fine we'll just tell i have already made a video on how to display session message so instead of echoing we'll be using session here as well i will give you guys the link in the description to watch it here what we are going to do is dollar session of status is equal to data updated successfully else copy paste the same thing so this session message to display in the same page this is a reddit page right so to display here we have to use a session here so let's go session start let's go reload now i want to edit the data number 6 so let's go click on edit and i'll give a proper name for this instead of test we'll give sana and test1 sana@gmail.com last one digit will make it to 8 let's click on this update data it's in code.php itself let's go check our database whether the data is updated but we didn't get the message we'll check on it as well reload so the data got updated here you can see sana sana@gmail.com and 7 is changed to 8 reload you can see sana why this didn't get printed is it's in code.php only we'll just make the header location just give the header location to mention your page i'll just direct it to index.php itself if the data is successful then let it go to index.php else let it be in edit.php now let's go and update another user i'll update the data number 5 i'll just as jisha jisha@gmail.com we have changed the phone number let's click on update data so here you can see Hey, data updated successfully, and you have got Jisha Jisha Gmail dot com and the mobile number. When you refresh this page, the session message will disappear. So I hope this video was helpful. In next video, we'll see how to delete the particular data. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.